Here we have 1.2, solving a word problem with two unknowns using a linear equation. So here it says a garden table and a bench cost $750 combined. The cost of the garden table is two times the cost of the bench. What is the cost of the bench? Okay. So we have to use algebraic symbols to solve this, and we need to write a linear equation. I noticed that sometimes some students can, you know, type things in their calculator and come up with the answer, but really what they're trying to do is get you to start conditioning yourself to being able to take these sentences and turn them into algebraic expressions. And if you skip that now, it's going to be a lot harder to do it when the expressions get way more complicated, okay? So I know there's ways to do the problem without having to um, use algebra, but again, it's not just the fact that you're trying to find answers, it's how are you going about finding those answers. That methodology is important because that's what we're building on. Um, so in this case, you have two different things. You have a garden table, which I'm going to use the letter G to represent. And then you have a bench, and I'm going to use the letter B to represent the cost of the bench. Okay. And combined, it costs $750. So that first sentence tells me an equation. It tells me that the cost of the garden plus the cost of the bench equals $750, okay? It also tells me, the next sentence says that the cost of the garden table is two times the cost of the bench, which means instead of using G, we can use two times the cost of the bench in replace, in, instead of the G. So in its place, we can use 2B which means that when I combine these like terms, I get 3B equals 750, and if I divide by my coefficient, I get B equals, I believe it's 250, but I always use my calculator to make sure. Yep, 250. And it does say, what is the cost of the bench? And since I used um, identifying letters, such as G for garden table and B, bench, it's very evident what this variable stands for. B stands for the cost of the bench, and that's $250. Let's try another scenario that is still the same type of problem. Um, excuse me. So it says Alvin is 13 years older than Elsa. The sum of their ages is 107. What is Elsa's age? So I always like to start with the total equation. So I'm actually going to start with the second equation because it tells me the sum, this word means to add. So when I add their ages, is is the equal sign. It should equal 107. So if I take, let's use A for Alvin and let's use E for Elsa. So if I take Alvin's age plus Elsa's age, I should get 107. That's what the second sentence tells me. Now the first one helps me to come up with an expression for Alvin. So for Alvin, it says Alvin is 13 years older than Elsa. So instead of writing Alvin, I'm going to write 13 years plus um, Elsa's years. Now I still need to bring down this plus sign, and I still need to bring down the original expression for Elsa. So I've got this expression that represents Alvin, and this variable that represents Elsa. Now if I combine my like terms, I actually have 13 plus 2e equal to 107. And then if I start to solve for e, I end up with 
I end up with 47. And the question says, what is Elsa's age? And so since I ended up with E equal to 47, I know that Elsa is 47 years old.